What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Ken. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to set a controller up for BattleBit. I know there's some confusion out there. Some people are deterred from playing, thinking you only have to use the keyboard and mouse. That is not true. You can use PlayStation controllers, Xbox controllers, Steam controllers, whatever you got. So, first thing we're going to do is pull up our Steam here. We got BattleBit. There's two ways to open this. You can either right click on BattleBit itself, or when you're highlighted over BattleBit, you have this little cog on the right over here. Most people right click, so that's what we're going to do. And we're going to want to come to properties here. And then we're going to want to come down to controller. And then override for BattleBit Remastered here. We're going to want to change it from use default to enable Steam input. So you have that selected, we'll exit out of this, and we'll come over to the cog here, go on to manage, and then we'll go over to controller layout, and we'll select this bar here, and here we're going to choose the layouts inputs that we're setting to our controller. Easiest way to do this, rather than mapping them by yourself or anything like that, let's go to the community layouts here. I'm using a new generation Xbox controller, so this is what I use here. This is probably what you want to use if you're using the same thing. There's all sorts of options in here for different controller layouts and configs, kind of figure out what works best for you and what you're used to. We'll just click that for me. And then it'll require down here to apply the layout with the actual controller button. So I press X on my controller. Bam, it's on there. Just exit out. Then we'll shoot over to the game. And I will show you that it works. Alright, so when we're in our game here, to test out if your controls are working, you can kind of move the right stick around and it'll move around. You want to still use your mouse here, go to the shooting range. Now this little window is going to pop up. It's going to require you to understand. Do not use a controller yet. It'll sort of bug out and not let you hit understand. It can't really see, but you can still move around. So we'll just click and hold this, get this out the way. Just choose anything random, deploy. And bam. You can see all your controls are going to be shooting. It'll use a controller and battle bit. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Let them know.